Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. The EVision J150 charger is completely redesigned from the J100 charger. Not just on the build quality, how it fits, how it cools the battery, but also what you can do with it and the information that it provides to the, you as an operator. So on the screen here, we're in the operations screen. You can see on the top, I got this green check mark right there. That tells me in the charger right now, I have a battery installed and it is fully charged. If I pull this battery out, put in a new battery. Then that icon on the top is going to go away and it's going to boot back up whenever it recognizes the battery and starts charging it. There we go. It says 52%. That tells us on the screen that in our charger we have a 52% battery. In our drone we have no battery right now um, until we put that one in and it tells us the drone's charge level and the battery in the charger charge level. That'll tick up as it keeps charging. Now, I'll show you how you actually get to the screen where you can do this. If we go back out, hit exit, go to our main screen, go to device, and then come down here to charger. We actually have Bluetooth connected to this charger. We'll, uh, we'll hit disconnect, confirm. All right, now we're disconnected from the charger. So come in here to connect, hit, oh, hit scan. There we go. And now it's connecting in Bluetooth from the remote to the charger, we can see all the information. We can upgrade our firmware. We can change our power settings. Right now we're at uh, 12,400 watts, which is full power setting. If we click on that, if our generator isn't big enough to supply 12,000 watts, we can take that down and we'll just go 8,000 watts. Confirm that. That's gonna reduce the power. There you see the actual power. You can hear the fans actually kick down in the charger. Uh, the temperature here actually tells us the temperature of the uh, charger itself. Uh, we'll click on other parameters. Uh, so we can see other things on the battery itself right now uh, in our charging terminal. If we click on that, there we can see the cell information, the charge level, um, and our charging current. All that kind of stuff is all right here, including battery, battery temperature. And again, if we zoom out, there on the top of the screen, 63% batteries that we have in the charger. This charger also has super big cooling fans. Two here, two here, a true push-pull. The battery fits in there really tight, and we can see that the battery has uh, separated cells, so you can actually push air through each of the cells. Right now, the fans aren't on. If we click this button, that puts it into auto. It's gonna start kicking these fans on. There it goes. So the fans are on auto, so it won't always run them with batteries hot. It runs the fans and it cools the battery down and it turns the fans on when the battery starts charging, turns them off when they're done charging. It's kind of annoying because it is loud. The nice thing about it is you can hear that, that all those cooling fans, and when they, when they kick off, you know that the battery is done charging. Same thing up on the screen. It tells you, green check mark, battery is done charging. When you have one charging slot, being able to swap batteries whenever they need swap is really key. All right. I think that's about all on the charger. If you guys have any questions, let us know.